Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Wordle with Art. Today, we're going to solve Wordle number 705 for Thursday, uh, May 25th. The current score for the guys versus girls competition is guys 8, girls 14. The guys are definitely clawing back. So please, guys, as soon as I'm done with my solve, we are going to figure out if the guys were able to close the gap even further, or are the girls within one day of victory? Because they just need to win two more, and that's it, game over. All right, so let's go ahead and spin the wheel, find out what Art will be inserting into today's Wordle. It is going to be the word Daisy, and I know exactly who I can thank for that one. That comes from our good friend, Ellen Sasani. So thanks, Daisy, and thanks, Ellen. So let's remove that from the wheel, a very pretty girl's name. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens. So let me just get the Squirtle screen on. Bam, there it is. And let's go ahead and insert Daisy into today's Wordle. Looks good. Okay. An A in position is pretty solid. I will not argue with that. An A in position. Okay. So... We could put in some nice compatible letters with that A, right? And um, I mean, you know, I do see water. Um, I don't believe we've had it, but I'm not going to go straight for that because, um, you know, I want to get another letter to replace that green A so I have some extras to work with. Again, I'm not going to play in hard mode unless it's completely obvious what the word is. Um so, so letters that would be compatible would definitely be the T-E-R. I mean, I'm not going to put W in, even though it could be water. I want to get, you know, some really juicy letters. So L would be a good one. So I want T-E-R-L and maybe an O. Eh, well, let's think about that. Nah, I don't want the O. I don't think that is going to be as useful, but it could be A-U. So we could definitely have like, you know, those aunt words. So I would love to put an I'd love to create a word that could do an unscramble out of T R L U. Um that would be really cool. Unfortunately, I don't think one I don't think such a word exists. Yeah. I don't see it. No. All right. So, yeah, I guess I'm trying to be a little bit greedy. Um, so we can't get everything in life, right, guys? So, I mean, I could do, uh, I really want that T. But, you know, C would be fine, too. So I could I could do cruel. Yeah, we'll do cruel. Um, okay. Hmm, interesting. Now, oh, this is really cool. So it's obviously not going to be water. Let's just run through the keyboard and see if we can get that first letter. I don't think W works. Um, how about T? I don't quite see T working. Um, P? Panel. So panel would... We've had panel. We've had panel, guys. I have an image in my mind from the little you know, directory of previous words that I've created of a, uh, of one of those solar panels. So we do not want to put panel in. Um, unfortunately, that would have been perfect though. So what we are going to do is we're going to see if there's anything else with the P. I don't think so. So now we're going to move on to F. Fable, I think is F-A-B-L-E. So that wouldn't work. Um, G, gavel, a judge's gavel. Now that would be a good one. That looks very strong. So I'm definitely going to hold on to that. And I'm just going to keep it there just, you know, um, in case. H. I don't see that. I don't think it'll be J. I don't think it'll be K. Um, V. Okay, I see another one. Oh, it could be navel. 
I'm going to go with gavel first. Oh, I was wrong. Um, I am wrong. And so it's obviously something that I missed. And okay, we'll have to take a four today. That's kind of unfortunate. It's going to be bagel. Ah, shit. <laughs> uh, if I had thought of bagel, if I'd seen bagel, I think I would have gone with that. I think that would have been a stronger word. Um, you know, Tracy Bennett being in New York and everything, I'm sure she has uh, enjoyed many good New York bagels. So we're going to go with bagel. Ah, all right. Well, what can you do, guys? That's okay, because guess what? Let's dismiss the wheel, or sorry, the wordle. And I have some exciting news to share. I do indeed. Um, what is that exciting news that I'm going to share? The exciting news is that, yes, the guys are continuing to mount an epic comeback. So for the word clerk, okay, which we had on May 23rd, um, the women, we'll start with them. We had 16 players and they averaged a 3.44. Pretty awesome. That's a great score. Um, the guys, however, of whom we had 22 averaged a 3.27. So, you know, again, um, almost about a 0.2 victory. That is pretty amazing. Obviously not quite as close as it was yesterday with that ridiculous 0 0.002. Um, but nevertheless, the guys are just doing an amazing job clawing their way back. And so as of May 23rd, the score is guys 9, girls 14. So this is becoming a real, real nail biter. And you never know. I mean, this could be the most epic turnaround in the history of sports entertainment. Wouldn't you guys agree? So we'll see what happens. Well, you know, everybody lives another day. We'll see what happens tomorrow. And of course, with that in mind, yes, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow with yet another edition of Word of Art.